usually requiring a dependent in general uh, or you can have the qualified widow widower or the qualifying uh, the surviving spouse is what they're calling it now same kind of thing as the qualified widow or widower and then on the married side if married you could choose between married filing joint and married filing separate now we have some of those gray areas which often happen with regards to is someone currently married or are they not married due to possibly a divorce situation or separation kind of situation they can complicate which filing status someone should be in and with regards to the dependent oftentimes a dependent child custody issues with regards to the dependent child could cause problems when you're trying to determine a filing status between a single individual for example or a head of household situation obviously they would like to move up to a head of household situation if you can because that's usually a beneficial status from single in a uh, tax scenario okay so qualifying child is something that came up in a prior presentation when we're thinking mainly at the head of household uh, requirements to find out if someone is a qualifying child you could see step one under who qualifies as your dependent so we will get into dependents later so note that some of this stuff is kind of intertwined right we're looking at the filing statuses but sometimes you've got the dependents that will might be involved with the determination of filing statuses if we have a dependent as a requirement to determine the filing status then we've got to dive into what is a dependent who qualifies for a dependent which is another whole area in and of itself which we'll talk about in a future presentation presentation so dependent to find out if someone is your dependent you can see who qualifies as your dependent later which we'll do shortly tip the dependents you claim are those uh, you list by name and social security number SSN in the dependents section of the form 1040-1040-SR. So the dependents, of course, are on the page one of the 1040. They have their own implications from a tax implication in that you might have, for example, a credit related to the dependent and they could have some impacts on the filing statuses as we are seeing here.